You know, this, this tour, the fact that this is the last city on the U.S. tour, it is, it is so, so many things for me because this has been the most extraordinary experience of my entire life, being on this tour, getting to share these moments with you. It, I, I know you're supposed to like play it cool. You're supposed to be like, oh, I like you guys a little bit, but g genuinely this has meant more to me than anything I've ever done or been a part of in my life, this tour. So. <laughs> And, you know, before this tour, I would, I would go through this process where I'd make an album and I'd call the album something like Red or Speak Now or Fearless or, you know. And then I'd go, I'd, I'd put together a tour called the name of that album, right? Like the 1989 tour, Speak Now tour. And we'd do it like that. <laughs> and I remember like, why, why am I just do, um, what is this? Why? Anyway. Um, so, <laughs> with this tour, I remember people would come up to me and they'd be like, so you put out like five albums that you haven't done tours for, so what's your plan? Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just like, do a show with like all, all the albums in it and it'll be like, what, it'll be like a three and a half hour long show? And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be called the Eras Tour. See you there. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are currently in the Evermore era, and, um, and that was my second pandemic album that I made, and I remember there was, there was one specific song where after I wrote it, I thought, you know, that would be a really cathartic experience, I'm sure, to get to sing Champagne Problems in a stadium. Yeah. So let's do it. 